Hi. So today, from ISBR Finance Department, myself Kiran Bindu and the head of the department, Professor Amit Kanchanbaras, both of us are here today to discuss with you how we go about literally crafting finance professionals out of engineers, out of BCA students, out of BCom students, out of half chartered accountancy, half cost accountancy students and the journey that we undertake over a period of time that we have with you, probably one and a half years to be very realistic, to get you placement ready, to get you job ready. We will share with you what is our secret sauce of getting you to that point in time so that you become industry ready and acceptable. So initially I am going to talk to you about the subjects that we do, the pedagogy that we follow and then we are going to have a free flowing conversation with our head of the department here as to the role that various partnerships that we have built over a period of time, how does that help you in being job ready? So we start off with basically an accounting course uh, which includes uh, financial accounting, management accounting and uh, analyzing balance sheets and all of that. So by the time the first trimester rolls by, students are up to that level wherein they will be able to make sense out of good company versus bad company versus companies that you have to stay away from. Uh, that is an invaluable skill to have whether you are going to go into investment banking or core banking areas or you are going to go to a hedge fund or a private equity fund uh, or even trade settlements and things like that. Just to know who is your counterparty and what are the risks that that counterparty poses is apparent when you are able to read the balance sheet in this way. And the second trimester is basically on corporate finance, also called as financial management, wherein you look at how finance is practiced within a company. What are the major challenges faced by finance managers of today and tomorrow? What are the funding choices available to them for various tenors like short term, medium term and long term? And what are the new sources of finance that are available to them like crowdfunding? And how does AI and ML, how does that make an impact in corporate finance decision making? These are the things that you will be going through in the second trimester. So in the third trimester, we have introduced... Yeah, we have credit management, we have fintech, we get into that space, which is the new age financial services, which is evolving. Traditional banking becoming digital is the key because that's where the forward go is for the students, which is what the industry looks at. Okay. So those of you who may not be keen to go on with finance as a very core, areas like credit and fintech is also very essential for marketing students who want to go work in the fintech industry because you will be interfacing with banks and banks need you to understand their pain points. So when we cover fintech in the first year itself, before you decide that you will go off and go do a major in marketing, you have understood adequately about this huge growing area called fintech basically how technology is intervening to ensure that new transactions are originated so that the banks don't need to open a branch in every district in the country and those large populations who are not served by the banking system are able to get access to the services of the banking service uh, industry that is what fintech is doing but in doing that you are creating more risks for the banking sector and that is what the fintech executives need to understand and that is where the merge will be very very perfect and rbi will not need to intervene with regards to educating the fintech industry people as to what are the risks of banks so that is why we have uh, kind of added this credit risk and fintech in the third semester trimester itself before you go off and then they go for a Internship. internship happens yeah, based on what they would like to see their career starting with and essentially Kiran what you were saying was basically very important because the starting point itself has begun the journey to be ready industry ready because while you seed them with the basics of finance accounts and financial management tools they're also looking at how these are getting applied so in parallel we do a lot of upskilling we do a lot of you know certification courses a lot of workshops a lot of research projects which give them that kind of a perspective in terms of how they are being connected with these platforms in the industry space. 
So it's a built up which happens in parallel so that like uh, what Professor Kiran mentioned in some time back was it is readying them for the first milestone of their internship and that is the success which they have already seen in terms of the graduating of the first three trimester when they are in year one. Okay, I also noticed that few of the first year students are doing Bloomberg certification. Very true. So Bloomberg is something which is like, you know, it's like a, a, a kind of a key essence of any management school which not only gives the financial students, the finance students about what this space is, but other students as well. There's a market research, there's data, there are 15,000 apps out there which you need to understand. So Bloomberg has become the backbone of any B-School and finance students specific when you have markets, when you have global tra trades happening, when you have regulatory systems changing, you have real-time you know, incidents being reported and researched and being commented by experts. I mean, a B-School student get to know that while they are doing their first year is simply you know, you know, giving them a boost in their confidence to know where they're really looking at. So we, we always believed that having Bloomberg for finance students is like having a dental chair if you're teaching dentistry. You can't really teach dentistry without having a dental chair available. So in that way, what Bloomberg does is gives you a window to look at various financial markets, be it currency markets, credit markets, bond markets, equity markets, and in that various subsectors like government security, corporate bonds, municipal bonds, you get a look and feel as to what is happening in the markets right now. Remember, you not only have to gather knowledge, but you also need to learn how to apply it, how to evaluate it, and how to create something new by the time you hit your job interviews. So that is where we kind of handhold you and take you through that process and through the journey. And uh, when you come back from your internships, you would have gathered experience as to what you're good at and what you don't want to embark on. It's very clear to you. It's very apparent to you. And then we support your decision. We, we know that what is in your heart is what you're going to eventually follow. And then starts the journey of the fourth trimester. Would you like to kind of... Sure. So fourth trimester is a very crucial as, uh, you know, element in the life of a B-School student, which is they start getting into the specialization or as I call it, the core domain side where they want to see their career grow. So as soon as they come, up, come back, they have a practical understanding of what is happening in that space. And then they get oriented to specifics like, you know, investment analysis, portfolio management, they get uh, uh, you know exposed to uh, certain things. Advanced level of fintech, we start talking about e-trading, we start talking about algo trades, we start talking about information security, business compliance, we start talking about financial analytics. Because that's a logical movement forward, which they would have already built a foundation for, thanks to the first year curriculum, their internships, their workshops, has given that boost of confidence, not to forget Bloomberg, not to forget the CISI certification, which is more on global investments accredited by the uh, you know, uh, 75 uh, regulators across the world. So what they have gone through in the first year has given them a firm foundation to now take it to the next level. And that is what the fourth trimester begins because there the placements are going to start. There the companies are now going to come up to them and say, hey, look, we are going to take you on board. So these guys are ready with what they need as a basic ingredient in a sense to get the foot in the door as far as these global spaces is concerned. So th many students may be of the view that I don't want, I'm interested in finance, but I don't want to do a major in finance. You could do a minor in finance. Minor in finance is as robust as a major in finance in quite a few business schools. And I say it with all humility. We do not cut corners. You will have to work hard even if you have taken finance as a minor. And the, the classes are a little slow paced little more number of classes so that you can understand the concepts very well and uh, at the end of it you will be as battle ready as even a finance major of any other business school even if you have taken finance minor here if you have taken finance major you are going to get hammered with all the new things that are happening one more thing is we bring real world into class so one is syllabus but when the syllabus has been drafted and when the time the actual class is happening, we devote substantial amount of the class to discussing what is happening outside there in the real world. So whole of last week, we were looking at the pension fund debacle that happened in UK. 
and this week we are looking at the fallout of the chinese real estate market on a few real estate investment trusts and using these real life incidences we drive learning in the classroom so what is going to happen if a investment fund out of china suddenly stops redeeming the money that global investors have put in so we use we use that to drive the discussion on liquidity risk then we have also subscribed to harvard case studies and what we do is there we use those case studies to once again reinforce learning and this is like global standard all business schools across the world that are of any standing use harvard case studies to drive classroom discussions we also do that and we also use the real life incidences that are taking place that comes across our radar that shows up on bloomberg terminal to to drive conversation one very interesting thing we were noticing the other day is the disparity between the wages that a software engineer used to get 10 years back and what he gets here in major hubs like mumbai london san francisco and we drew very interesting parallels by observing the information that was available on bloomberg and this is the sort of conversations that we have in class so now we are going to throw some light on what happens in the fifth trimester which is one trimester away from the project that you will have to submit in the sixth trimester so mr amit what is on the offer right so fifth trimester is more like a logical conclusion to the program which we feel is important for the finance student to get a comprehensive view of all the key ingredients we look at we look at risk management derivatives mergers acquisitions foreign exchange treasury management we talk about that in detail because that is something which is the evolved space by now the student has already familiarized him or herself with the basic fundamentals apart from that we do in our one of the specialization is financial analytics analytics is anyways a big ocean today which connects across different types of career object career advancements here we focus on financial analytics and we relate it straight to the data that we have in terms of bloomberg so any student who's doing a vertical horizontal analysis based on camel's hygiene to understand the bank's health system is able to draw the data right from bloomberg for the company and do that comparison charts getting out spreadsheets comparison in terms of yoy increase decrease and getting a full holistic picture about the bank on his or her own not depending upon a article which has been published so real time it is first time that he or she is getting their hands dirty down it's followed by the new point analysis that they further dwell into by looking at how the criteria differs when you look at the bank's hygiene system based on these different types of methodologies so to cut a long story short it's more of a summation of the entire curriculum that happens in the fifth trimester and also by that time the companies have reached out and knocked our door to what kind of skills they're looking at so skilling becomes very important to what professor kiran was talking about in terms of the fundamentals of the curriculum and upskill happens alongside so we get a role maybe in the credit analysis role for one of the ibd banks where they're looking at what they're looking at cba kind of a skill set that should be known to the student today the syllabus covers it in a very minuscule way but then when this opportunity comes both of us go together to understand what is the underlying thing or a skill they are looking for so it's basically banking credit so let's get the students exposed to it and we have sessions after sessions we burn the midnight oil students burn the midnight oil to get an understanding in their detail about what is banking credit what is optimal credit what is suboptimal credit what is the value at risk what is probability of default what would happen in terms of you know the basel 3 conditions that the banks need to follow so imagine this kind of orientation which is happening to fit a need which is industry driven and that comes as a joy for all of us when the students get picked up likewise we have something in the space of consulting where your students applying for roles which are like for pitch deck now they need to understand what is the pitch deck in terms of valuation pricing in terms of ratio analysis in terms of creating a particular content which is going to be given to a prospective client to win or her over so the skills are not confined to the curriculum in fact the curriculum is confined to the skills in terms of making the student holistic ready based on what industry needs are the most important point i think which we have at the department level is we have a strong industry network connect in terms of not only helping them in placements because that's the last 
outcome it is more in terms of being part of the in creation of the curriculum creation of the department holistically giving them corporate mentoring giving them the right lessons giving them the right perspective about the skills about what they the space is all about which a normal job description does not talk which a normal website will not talk so those interventions come from the experts who are already working in that space so it becomes so very easy for the students to align to what industry is requiring what platform isbr has given the, from the department of finance and they're able to marry both the connects to the extent possible and thus they have a smiley face in getting those kind of roles perhaps they would have not even dreamt of but yet aspired so i would say that you know this has been a kind of a classic marriage between how academia and industry works as far as the department is concerned and it is evolving it is becoming more and more stronger and has given the confidence to us both of us as well as the fact as uh, a system the infrastructure and the stakeholders to believe in terms of how students are benefiting and students talk about it they are more than happy when they get to these kind of experiences so yes sir over in terms of you know what your last take on this marriage of academy and industry which has helped over a period of time for this department to grow because you have been there for quite some time so i think that would be a good conclusion to what we wanted to convey to our uh, audiences so in the 6th trimester you have a project assignment which would mirror probably what you would be required to do if you get into any one of these companies to write a report a 30 40 page report on a business vertical and opportunity an equity research report or a credit report if your employer is a bank so you would get to do that refer various journals for backup support for your arguments that you put forward use statistical tools and sixth trimester is all about creating that uh, knowledge that you take away from isbr because creation of knowledge is the pinnacle of bloom's taxonomy of learning so we give you the opportunity to do something like that some student is working on libor transition some student is working on uh, Co- correlation of default probability of a set of borrowers so very very interesting topics we pick which will further your knowledge in finance and then you deliver that project and then off you go it's off to the races and uh, we have noticed that this blend of using real life current finance talking about fifth trimester we kind of completed all the aspects in terms of the curriculum the placement the skills and all of that and the last part is where the student is now graduating what's taking place in the sixth trimester which will be you know, so sixth trimester is basically that you are going to be doing a project you are going to be creating some small element of knowledge it could be probably how does uh, credit risk management work in a fintech industry or how is it different than what banks do so some project interesting project you will have to take and you'll have to deliver that with proper bibliography and all of that and then you're off to go you're good to go and with that your journey of 2 years with ISBR ends but your connection with us remains for life long we are accessible to students on various social media platforms to consult with us about any upcoming job opportunities they have in your life so basically you are then going to be a part of isbr family for a long time so this is what finance department does in isbr and we welcome students who want to come and study here irrespective of your past successes and failures you will find that this is a great platform that will prepare you for your future career aspirations in finance and we wish to see you all on campus soon great so this is uh, professor ramit professor kiran signing off and wishing you all the best and looking forward to some of you be part of this successful journey to real world real learning that's what isbr is that's what department of finance is thank you thank you